There's that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam Cause he's way to the core Okay, today we need to test all the fire hydrants in Ponty Pandy to make sure they're working. Shall we keep in contact with the station by radio, Sam, as we're out all day? Good thinking, Penny. Oh, I'll do it. I never get to use the radio. Okay, Elvis, you can be the radio man today. Yes! And I'll check the first fire hydrant. First radio call. <laughs> well, answer it, Elvis. Oh, um, mm. hello, Station Officer Steel. Is everything okay? Uh, no, Cridlington. That's why I'm calling. Zion is locked in Mike Flood's van in the high street. Oh! And Mike's dropped his keys down a drain, so he needs your help. Okay, Station Officer Steel. We're on our way. <gasps> That's only around the corner. I could rescue him. Then I'd be like a real fireman! But James, I'm not sure you should! Don't worry, Lion. We'll soon get this door unlocked. Help is on the way. Don't worry, Mike. I can rescue your keys for you. Which train did they fall down? Oh, uh, that one over there. This is a job for my magnet. Now, all I've got to do is lower the magnet onto the keys and they'll stick to it. Ah! Oh. Oh, 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 nice one, Fireman James. Hello, Mike. I hear you've dropped your keys down the drain. It's all right, Sam. Fireman James already got them for me. Well done, Fireman James. That was good thinking. Thanks, Sam. One day I want to be a real fireman like you. I'm sure you will be. And I saved Mike's keys and, and then Sam called me Fireman James like I was a real fireman. Wow! Really? Yeah, so I'm going to keep an eye out just in case there's another emergency I can help out with. Uh, there, all done. That's all of the fire hydrants checked for another year. He's to Jupiter! Bridlington! Are you there? Ooh, it's the radio again. Um, hello? 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 Station Officer Steel, are you there? I don't think he can hear me. Yes, Elvis. You have to push the button down when you talk and take it off again when you finished. Oh, right you are. In Hibbert Street, I repeat, Norman Price is stuck up a tree in Hibbert Street. Oh, did you hear that? I bet I could rescue Norman. I'm not sure. Sounds a bit dangerous, James. Uh, not for Fireman James. I just need to borrow Dad's ladder. Oh, uh, 
I'm slowly, Norman. Left a bit. Get nearly there. That's it, Mama. Oh. 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 Thank you, Fireman James. Oh. Nothing to it. Well, James, I don't know how you did it, but you beat us to it again. Well done. Thanks, Sam. But you need to remember to be careful when you rescue people. Some jobs need to be done by trained professionals. OK, Fireman Sam. Ooh, time for lunch. Floods fry up. Now, let's see. I'll have some tomatoes, bacon, ooh, and some sausages. Whoa, oh, hey, no, no, ah, I think I'm going to call Farm and Sam. <coughs> oh, no. Mike Flood set fire to his kitchen. Out in Jupiter. Um. So I'm just like a real fireman now, thanks to my radio. Oh, there it goes again. Jupiter. I'm not sure you should be listening. Can you hear me? Mike Flood's kitchen is on fire. You need to get there as fast as you can. We're on our way, sir. Fireman James to the rescue! Station officer Steele, I'm safely outside now. Oh, that's good. Just don't re enter the building. It could be very dangerous. Oh, Mike, have you seen James? No, Sarah. Ah! 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 I'm trapped. He's in the house. He's, he's where? Oh, no. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. He's Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. What? No time to lose! <laughs> James! Where are you? I'm, I'm in the living room! I, I can't find my way out! Elvis, <laughs> switch the electricity off. I'll get James! Take my hand, James. I'll lead you out. And the fire's out, too. Thanks, Sam. I'm never going to listen to my walkie-talkie again. Ah, so that's how you always beat us to the rescues. It was picking up our radio signals. I'm sorry, but I really wanted to be a fireman just like you. But I don't think I do anymore. Now, don't be hasty, James. A brave lad like you could be a very good fireman one day. Could I? Yes. You just need proper training first. Maybe in the meantime, you can help out down at the fire station. Yeah! And I'll teach you the proper way to use the radio. Station officer Steele calling Elvis Finlinton. Finlinton? Hello? Oh, that's the radio for me. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is the hero now. 